Hey guys, it's QTO Technology, and you're here because you want to learn how to make a plugin for Minecraft via Bucket for online SMP, or in this case, AMP, because we are now in adventure mode. Um, however, I'm only using survival mode in this video. <clears throat> if anything changes in Bucket's formatting for coding, I'll update you in a later tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. 1.8 is in pre-release while I'm recording this, so we won't be using 1.8 in this. Uh, series just yet. First thing you're going to want to do is get the program that will let you create these plugins and that pro program is called Eclipse. To get Eclipse you just go to www.eclipse.org and right in the top right you'll see get started now download Eclipse. You click that and then once you've uh, made your way over here, I'll give you some time uh, you'll see something called Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. It'll have been downloaded 1,600,000 plus times, which is a good indication of that's what you want. So um, if it's not your correct operating use, uh, system, just choose it from the drop down, uh, the little very top bar, and then download it using the download links on the right side. And then once you've launched Eclipse, so go ahead and pause this if you need to do all that. We're going to go ahead and uh, set up our new plugin. So, yeah, go ahead and uh, launch Eclipse. Java is what Minecraft is written out of, which is why sometimes when you can't connect to a server, you'll get no route to host. Java exception error. Uh, it's because you don't have any internet. Uh, it's, it's made in Java, which is not too common in PC games. So that makes it pretty different. Um, so therefore, since it's written in Java, we must make Java plugins for it. Java is a pretty fun language once you get the hang of it, and it's uh, you'll you'll become pretty adventurous in it. And you'll want to try out new things, like I did. So um, just go to File. Once you've launched it, you might get something like a. Uh, hang on, yeah, relaunch it. You might get something like a welcome page. Just press the, just close out that little tab, and a new window will appear. And then in your little file menu, which on Mac would be at the very top of your screen, and then the Windows would be within the program, you're going to go to File, New, and then, sorry, File, New, and then you're going to go to Other, or no, you're going to go to Project, and if it's not on there, then you'll go to Other. And go double click Java project, which is also under here. Okay, project name, we're gonna call this, let's call this Hello World. Okay, so uh, just click yes for now click finish and here we are we're in our very first project so just kinda go click on this double click on it and right click on hello world which will now be in your package explorer in the top left and click package from the right click on it click new and then click package we're gonna call this me dot your name so I'm just gonna put my common username and you're gonna then call it, um, let's see, we'll just call this Hello World. Press enter. Alright, so we got our first package, which will contain all of our coding. So right click that again, go to new, and go to class. Java works around classes, and uh, you put your code within each class, and you can reference different classes throughout your project for different functions in the coding. So, trial is really easy if you've done a little bit other programming, but if you haven't, I'll try to make this easy for you to follow. Uh, even coming from someone that's been coding for a few years now, Java was a little bit complex at first for me to understand. So, uh, actually, I'll link you to a new Boston tutorial if you want to, because he makes really good tutorials on basically anything computer related. So, if you want to try that out, go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, and then come back to this video. So we're gonna call this, the name will be, uh, we'll call it Hello World. 
Okay, so we got hello world.java. So now that we've got our plugin set up, um, I'm going to make another video really soon on how to actually start working on setting up this plugin. Uh, so subscribe for the next video. <clears throat> our plugin will be once a person places down a block, or maybe once he says a certain thing in the chat, I'm deciding which thing to do. So if he sends a certain message in the chat, then the server will say hello in their name, which most uh, coders start off with a plugin called Hello World, which is basically saying hello to that to the world of that coding language. It's kind of interesting concept. Like in PHP, you'd uh, make a program or a script that would say Hello World on a web page. It's just basically your introduction to this language. It's it's pretty common. It's traditional. So that's what this plugin will be based around. So yeah, um, stay subscribed and stay tuned because there will most certainly be another video on how to uh, set up your bucket plugin.